Hello blessed people and welcome back to Beginner Coloring with Amanda. I hope that you're having a great middle of the week on this Wednesday afternoon. Hope that you are enjoying your day and I hope that you have an awesome rest of the week. I'm here with the coloring book collection letters D and E today. We will be finishing up with them and then we will be moving on to F in the next video. As always, I will post all the links to purchasing abilities on each book in the comment section of the video. Uh, also, if you want to see a complete flip through of any of the books, please let me know. I don't mind doing that. Um, be more than happy to do a complete flip through. Also, if you have any questions or concerns about the channel, um, please don't hesitate to email me. If there's a video that you would like to see, um, also email me that information as well. I'm open to suggestions. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I have several of these. Um, I don't have the whole series, but I have um, several of the ones that I do have. It's the Do Coloring and Crafting Magazine. Uh, Design Original put them out. Um, this one happens to be spring 2018. I really like these books. They um, come in. They tell you um, a little bit about the topic at hand for the month. Um, like this month was paint porn. It gives you ideas what you should do. And then it tells you, um, it goes into media, you know, drawing mandolins on rocks and how you know what equipment that you should use for it and then how to make you know certain things and then at the end of that um it gives you just a lot of how to um information that is in in them if you've never picked one up i would definitely recommend doing that um and then in the middle of the book has samples of pages from their other books and what I like about it is it tells you that the illustrator it tells you the address and then it tells you what book it's from and what publisher it's from so I really like that about these books like this one it's been walk um, with Catherine Ernie from Color This Birds and Animals Coloring Books. So that gives you an idea of, hey, I really like this picture. I think I may want that book. Or no, I don't really like that book. So that's one that I won't buy. And then it gives you every page is like that. Excuse me. I didn't have my nap this evening. This page is actually stickers, I do believe. Yeah, stickers you can color. So, I really uh, enjoy the, the Do magazines. It gives you a wide variety of um, coloring styles, what books you may like, what books that you don't like. And then, um, gives you the idea if you, if you may want to go um, get that book or if you don't they used to have I don't know if this book has it or not I don't think it does No, this book doesn't have it. I'll see if any of the other ones does so that one was spring issue This one is a fall issue And let's just see what topics is in this one so this one is Social Coloring Club. Um, making um, cards. Colorist Dream Printers. So this one looks like it's all about coloring. So you guys your books. Your samples of your books. Here's another one about jewelry. Um, 
gives you ideas of working with watercolors, ways to do that. So a lot of information are packed in here. And this is what I was looking for. Um, I'm not sure that you can still do a subscription to them. Um, it's only four, four issues a year. So it's a quarterly um, issue. So there's four for $27.99. Or you can do two years for $55.98. I'm not sure that they're still doing a subscription to it. I don't think that the DQ, the DO magazines are still being pr produced. Um, but I will list that email. Um, that web address for these to see um, if that's something that you're interested in. You can check it out and see if they're still doing a subscription to it. I have another one. This one is the November issue of 2015. So this is kind of older. Same thing. It has the same layout. Has a list of books in here that you can purchase. Give you ideas to do with the the things that are in the book. So a lot of fun packed information if you take the time to read it you may can learn some information on things that you didn't know that um, like the watercolors things like that some green cards couple more of these. And that's one that I've colored. This one has a lot of flowers in it. So those are definitely good resource magazines to have. Um, if you find them sometimes, like libraries, people will donate magazines they're not using anymore. Um, so you may can find them. I found these at Ollie's. Um, they was discontinued for 99 cents, so that's how I found them. But you definitely keep your eye out like yard sales, things like that. Because people sell their magazines that they don't want. Sometimes they even give them away for free. So I always check free um, magazine places to make sure that there's not any. Because I would definitely get them if there was. Next up is a design original book. Delightful Animal Families. Um, this is by Tania McArdle is the illustrator and this is just the cutest book it was gifted to me um 
and I have loved it ever since I've gotten it. It's got the bright colors in it. Um, it gives you color palettes that you can color on each of them. And then you get into your animal families. A little family of ducks. Birds, cats, and gerbils. Pandas. Another bird. Dolphins. Dog and kitty. And they are single sided so you don't have to worry about um, the bleed through if you want to use markers. It does have writing on the back side of it. Um, like a little saying. But you don't. I mean it's not going to hurt it if it gets bled on. Next up is a Creative Haven book that I have. Um, by Marty Noble. Dazzling Dream Catchers. And it's just like it says. It's a book full of different dream catchers. Next up is Timeless Creations Dreams Take Flight. This is a Walmart book. Single sided paper um, pages. Paper is fairly thick. Um, you could use markers on it. Um, fine liners. Um, I don't know. It would probably still bleed through with markers or fine liners, but maybe not too bad. Um, you could always use a buffer. Um, in between them to keep them from bleeding through. Next up is Duck Commander coloring book with meditative scriptures. The illustrator, I'm not sure on this one. The Simon and Schuster Incorporated book. Um. It says Shutter Shock, so um, Shutter Shock again is a um, the illustrator on this one too. I really like it because it's single sided. Uh, this is the first page in the book. I always said that I was going to color it for my dad, um, make it look realistic because he loves the bass fishing. You got the bass jumping up there after the fly will um so yeah I like that it has scriptures in it yeah you can tell that these are shutter shot because these are photos that you may see in other books
Next step is draw near to God. Coloring journal by Natasha uh, Bawana. This is really cute. It's a little journal um, that you can color in and then you can write as well. So what I will probably do with this book is I will color it and then I'll use this to write down my memory verses for the day or prayer requests or something of that nature. That way I'm making use out of the book and not just coloring it. Oh, I didn't have a good grip on it. Now I have to excuse the noise. My dogs like to play in the evenings and that's their time that they turn up and turn loud. So that's what they're doing. And it's a pretty thick book to be um, a small book. There's quite a few pages in it. Next up is a set of two books. Um, one is, and, and I, I welt under the poop, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, this one basically means animals under the earth, under the sea. So things like ocean, uh, rivers, things like that. And then I have the second one that is by Rita Berman that is things on the earth, like woods and forest and different stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and show you this one. This one has the little octopus on it. Unfortunately, I don't know how to read German or France or Italy or whatever the language is in. But there's pretty illustration. That's one thing that I really liked about it. thing to remember is the one with the octopus is ocean and the one with the little V is land. And this is a Rita Berman book as well. I have all of her books. The other ones are seasons so you'll see those in seasons when I get to the seasons portion of the videos. So that was Rita Berman's books. Next up is Diaper Animals. It's a design original book as well by Tanina McArdle. 
And there's just bright colorful animals in this one as well. Um, you can follow the color the color panel if you want to, or you can paint them the way that you want to paint them yourself. Tiger with the hoodie on. <laughs> That was Day for Animals. Next up is a series of two books um, drawn from the heart by Lisa Bogert. Um, this one is a devotional book. She also has a Drawn to Worship book that I have. Um, so I have the series of those books. And what it is, is it gives you a devotion to color um, and get you thinking. So you have the devotion over here. And then you have your coloring page over here. And it's like that all the way through. So whatever the devotion is about will be what your coloring page is about. So this one's noticing the details. And as you can see, this is a pretty detailed um, picture over here. I like books like this because I can incorporate my daily devotional with my coloring and it gives me the chance to do both. Here's the Drawn to Worship. This is a devotional as well. Same thing, same concept. It's going to have the devotion on the left hand side and it's going to have your coloring on the right hand side. Alright, so that is drawn to worship. Next up is dog coloring. This was given to me as a gift. It has 31 adorable animals to get you inspired and your inner artist shine. Um, don't see that it has a illustrator on it. No, I don't see an illustrator on it. Um, it's single-sided pages except for writing on the back side of each picture. And then you have the dog um, that you're coloring on the main page.
because that's dog coloring. Next up is Edwin, Edwin McNabb Dreamlands. Um, this was given to me by a friend. Um, it's really cute. It does have double copies in it. Um, the first set has a white page on it. And then the second set is on the um, black background. So we have just a lot of cute little dream lines. ladies and we get on the black background I really like the black pages because it doesn't let markers bleed through And the last of the D's is Dreamland Mode um, by Mode for Reg. Dreamland. Um, this is just different photos, different pictures of um, mermaids, unicorns, things like that. Dreamland things. Peace signs. And it is cardstock quality, so it's thick, thick paper, um, as you can hear that. So, you would be able to use your markers, you could use fine lines, you could use pretty much anything you wanted to on it. This was a book that I found at a used store, so some of the pages are out of it. Um, but for what I paid for it, it was just a few cents, and... I got quite a few pictures in it, so um, it was worth it. And it has the cardboard that you can put in between the pictures, too, to keep it from bleeding through. So, next up is the E's. Don't have a lot of ease. We have Expression of Faith, the Design Original by Joanne Fink. And this just gives you a lot of different ideas of how you can design the picture yourself. Um, it gives you different, like this one has the birdhouse, and the, this one doesn't have a birdhouse, and this one has drawings on a tree, and this one has a, a pot water in the tree. And so it. it it gives you the different ideas of how you'd like to do the picture yourself. Um, that's the thing with these um, type of books is you design it the way that you want to design it. Or you can just color the picture the way it is and leave it like that. It's, you don't have to necessarily design it either way you want to. Um, that's the joy of coloring. It's all in the eyes of the beholder. That was Expressions of Faith. 
We have Expressions of Nature. It's a Joanne Fink book as well. Same concept. You design it the way that you want to design it. She gives you ideas of ways to color and ways to draw. Um, sets of pattern examples. Things of that nature throughout the book. And then you have your pictures that you can draw and do what you want to with them. Next up is a Creative Haven book, Enchanted Fairies, by Barbara Lanza. I really like this book. It's single-sided. It has a lot of cute pictures of fairies and flowers in it, and them doing things um, within the flowers. Um, so it kind of has the best of both worlds. Single-sided. The paper is not... Um, not super thin, but not super thick. Kind of puts you in mind of Amazon people. Um, so you kind of just have to be careful how you handle it. That one looks like she's feeding the birds. This one's on a lily. That one kind of looks like Cinderella. The next book is a book that I won in a contest, a coloring contest. Um, it's by Katherine Simpson, and this is Evening Meadow. And it's single-sided papers as well. single paper just on the opposite side and the cover photo moss caterpillar more moss did a raccoon in the back next up is color yourself inspired everyday promises coloring book for spiritual refreshment for women and this one's single pages as well it just has sayings and open um, scriptures on it Can't get a grip on the paper.
Next up is Exquisite Flowers by Virgin Gaillard. This is a very thick book. Um, it has a thick cover. has really thick paper. Um, the only thing is the paper is it's all gold. Um, all the flowers are printed on different shades of gold. Rose gold, gold, yellow gold. Um, so, it... Some people may like that. Some people may not like that. And the pages are very easily to pull out of. The binding is not glued um, really good. So. This is a very nice book, a very thick, heavy duty book. It's one that you could use markers on because the pages are not going to read through those pages. And it's a fairly thick book. Again, that was Exquisite Flowers. There's 60 designs in that book. Next up is Everything Beautiful, a coloring book for inspiration and reflection. This is also single-sided. Next up is Everbloom um, by Crazier Colored. Uh, this is 40 floral designs. This has some really beautiful pictures of flowers. The only negative to it is it is double-sided. I will say though this paper, this the whiteness of it really absorbs color good. It gives it a really good true definition of color. Next up is a series. Um, it, the first one is Enchanting Moffitts. Um, it's by Pat Leisure Coloring Books. And I don't believe that it has an illustrator. It does tell you that there's different items it's hiding within the book. Um, 
if you can find them. Yeah, this one is not, um, it doesn't have listed, um, the illustrator. Some of these pictures look familiar, so I believe that they're Shutterstock. And they are double sided. So you wouldn't want to use, use markers. And that's the exchanging moffets and then you have exotic pursuits same company um same thing show stock photos you have the hidden um the hidden items throughout the book that you can look for and find Do that. All right, so that is the letters D and E um, for the color and collection video. Uh, next up will be F, um, and it will be a little lengthy because there is quite a few Fs. Um, I do know that there's a drawer full, um, so that will be the next video that I upload. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to know when I post other videos, I will be doing um, the complete collection of books that I have, A to Z, as, as well as special sets, um, seasons, holidays, um, haul videos, and then I'll also be doing uh, giveaways, color alongs, contests, things of that nature. So if you want to stay in the loop and know when all of that's going to take place, be sure to hit the subscribe button in the bottom corner as well. That way it will give you an alert each time that I post a video and you'll know, um, you'll be in the know to keep up with beginner coloring with Amanda. So I do want to thank you for watching today. I hope that you've enjoyed this part of the collection and I will see you next time.